Hey guys, welcome back to Mafia 3. So previously on our last episode, we finally took out our first Mafia family, the Dixie Mafia. And I know everyone's concern going into this playthrough was the repetitiveness of the missions. But I've got to be completely honest. I had an absolute blast on the last episode. Now, I know that might be the honeymoon phase. I feel like I'm going to have a good time. I, I really want to keep a positive attitude towards this playthrough because I really like who Clay... Uh, <laughs> Clay... Lincoln Clay is as a character. I love his brutality. I loved how he's like this crazy trained killer. And he's after the scumbag of what is sal right so i don't know so far the story is really really intriguing and that special story mission that we activated towards the end was really really freaking cool and i hope to see more of that but anyhow today today we begin our adventure our journey for the ultimate revenge and of course we're going to change our outfit because we look like we literally do not belong here today's episode begins with the brand new story mission called that goes both ways with the Dixie Mafia out of the way, you and Cassandra need to talk about what's next for the Hollow. Today, I wanted to do this episode with the revolutionary skin, if you will, or outfit for Mr. Lincoln Clay here, because he looks like an absolute fucking hit, man. And I think it's really dope. Who sets dead, the Hollow's yours. They say you strung him up on the old Ferris wheel. Oh, yeah, I did. He killed Ellis shit all over the people in this neighborhood. Doucette got what he deserved. Mm, the righteous will rejoice when he sees the vengeance. He will bathe his feet in the blood of the wicked. Mm. That goes both ways, you know. I thought you said all that was behind us. My men are struggling with the notion that we now have to answer to the same man who killed Baca. We wiped out half our number. If I was them, I'd get over it. We don't have time to go around coddling people. Mm, of course not. But just just carry weight. And if you were to help my man Emmanuel, that's a gesture that would go a long way in calming nerves. What's he need? He oversees my reefer operation over at the boathouse. Help him, and I'll see to it you get a potion of the profits. Just so we're clear, I'm expecting a cut of everything, not just what comes from selling weed. <laughs> it costs a lot of money to take down Marcano. Don't worry. I'll make sure you get your money. She's like a little, like a little boss of herself, huh? It's like a little mastermind. Look at her. <laughs> Here we were thinking that she was just a poor little old girl. She's gangster. <laughs> she really is. So district assignments. You're about to assign this district to Cassandra. Each underboss wants to improve their urn. So they offer you favor uh, favors like weapons, markers, vehicle upgrades, and services throughout their associations. Throughout their associates. Now, um, a lot of you have been Hello, telling me to collect. You. We had this kind of money because of all the work you've done. Take it. You deserve it. Oh, you better believe. You ain't got to tell me twice to take that money all day, every day, day. Believe me, Cassandra. Anyways, one question that I, I've been asking myself, where is my garage for my car? Like, where's Lincoln Clay's car? Do we get that later on in the story or how, do, how does that go? Right now, we got to go speak to Donovan. A lot of you have been asking me if I'm playing uh, on the computer because the graphics look really nice in the court. The answer to that question is yes. I'm playing on the computer and you have like 100 plus frames and I'm also playing I'm not rendering the videos in 2k but I'm playing it in 2k so it looks extra good here we are well tell me he doesn't look gangster you look extra gangster Come on. Problems? This goddamn thing keeps jamming up. If you're ready to see the other briefings, we can get started. Show me what else you managed to dig up. You got it. Two of the city's finest scumbags. Cut and run. I like how the cutscene takes over the, uh, 
the outfit you got going on. So anyways, we have here, I guess we got to do both of them, right? So the man himself, Mr. Vito Scaletta. You got to be shitting me. Last couple months have been pretty tough on old Vito. Sal's always hated him. Thought he was a mole for the commission, but he couldn't do anything about it because Vito's made. After the heist, Sal refused to pay Vito his cut, and then he put the clamps on him. He's been trying to limit Vito's ability to pay what's owed. And if Scaletta can't kick up, the commissioner give Marcano permission to whack him. The only reason that Vito is still above ground is because he has a couple off-the-record businesses. He's been using that money to pay Sal. Gotta give Scaletta credit. Pretty goddamn tenacious. He's lasted a lot longer than I thought he would, but the <laughs> clock is ticking. Fucking Vito, bitch. A couple weeks ago, Sal sent in his nephew, a kid named Michael Greco, to help Vito run River Row. Greco's been using his guys to limit what Vito can do, where he can go. Once he has Vito completely boxed in, he'll make his move. Scaletta has to know what Greco has planned. I'll pay him a visit. See if I can't leverage this thing with Greco to bring Scaletta around in my way of thinking. I'm sure I'll appreciate your concern. Shit. We partners now? Hell yeah. We're gonna... Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I'm fanning out here, bro. Okay, Vito's the fucking man. Get out of my way, Donovan. Where's the freaking exit here? This way. Ooh, head to Vito. Down here heard about a little invention called air... Oh my god, boys. Wait, where's my car? Oh, there it is. I'm pretty sure I didn't leave it there, but... Aw, oh, dude, that's sick. Oh, shit. We're about to work with Vito, man. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to be able to see him again or interact with him. thought it was just like a little guest appearance, if you will. But this is dope. I, I do wish that this game was a little bit more tied to Mafia 2. And my, well, it is. It is. This game is more tied to Mafia 2 than Mafia 2 is to 1. Except for that ending, which was crazy. But if it wasn't for that ending, then they wouldn't be tied. But regardless, hopefully, maybe the next Mafia will be like, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just keep on going. I, I'd be lying if I told you that I wasn't excited. I'm extra, extra excited. I'm driving like a maniac. I'm not even looking at the road. Watch out, bro. I will shoot your ass. I'm a man with a vengeance. You understand me? <laughs> Find Vito. Wait, why is it dark now? What the hell? I guess this mission takes place at nighttime, eh? <laughs> Very convenient. Any word about how it's going in there? How you think? Vito's taking his beating. Wish Greco would just let us kill the poor son of a bitch. Get over with. Nah, Greco wants to show how tough he is. Beat on old Vito till we all respect him. Only all it took was beating up on a washed up carpetbagger. Hmm. Yeah, Vito is, man. What happened to, to, to the people he was with at the end of Mafia 2? Huh? Huh? Fuck. I'll find a bastard. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh, shit. I was going to say, what happened to the people he was with at the end of Mafia 2? Well, we got separated from Joe. Fuck it. I'm done. I'm, I'm absolutely freaking done. You guys think this is a joke? Trying to fuck up my boy Vito? I will mess you up, partner. <laughs> Don't worry, Vito. You may hear gunshots, but I promise they're not for you, bro. I'll do anything for you, partner. gonna take these sons of bitches down together man the shooting in this game is absolutely fantastic oh what he probably knows they were murdered or were supposed to be murdered who knows we'll see looks like i got here just in time Vito. lincoln how's this possible i thought you were dead Bullet was deflected by my skull. Came out the back. Talk about some goddamn luck. Worst place to shoot a fella's in the forehead. Skull's harder than you think. <clears throat> Come on. We need to have a talk. When I heard about what happened, I went to Marcano asking my cut right then and there. 
figured if he fucked you and Sammy, I'd be next. Yeah, I'm guessing he didn't go for it. <sighs> Said he wanted to wait for the heat to die down. Didn't want me running around, buying expensive shit, getting noticed. Like I'm some fucking amateur never sat on a big score before. Damn, bro. I can't believe the it. The money I fronted for the robbery was pretty much everything I put away. Didn't have enough to run, so... I stayed. The commission wouldn't let him just kill me, so... I figured I'd make that cocksucker jump through every hoop. Make him prove I deserve to get whacked. It wasn't much, but it was something. I heard he brought in his nephew to push you out. A kid named Michael Greco. Nephew by marriage, not blood. Damn. Sure didn't number in here. Yeah. They were looking to see what other rackets I was running. I could leave a fucking paper trail in my office. Nah, don't bother with that shit. Look, uh... Appreciate you getting me out of the freezer and all, but, uh... What are you doing here? Marcano deserves to pay for what he did, so I'm going after him. Him, his brothers, his lieutenants, all of them. And I'm gonna need your help. Look, it's pretty much whittled me down to nothing. I mean, this is it. For now, maybe. But once I take back River Road from Greco, money will start coming in, it'll be a different story. Also, we're partners now. As long as you do what I say and give me what I want when I want. <laughs> so goodbye, Marcano, Hello, Lincoln, Clay. It's either that or more of this. And next time, I won't be around to fish your ass out the freezer. So we partners now. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Nobody kills that scumbag with me. You bring me Greco. I'm in. Tell me about his rackets. Ooh, let's go, baby. He took over the dock union and he's got a warehouse. He has a lot of valuable shit in there. You take both of them out. Greco's finished. A couple of my guys have been keeping tabs on him. You should talk to them. They'll fill you in. All right. Oh, I'm so excited, dude. We're partners now? Yes, we are. <laughs> All right, stash your cash on the go. Get someone out here to River Row for this cash. Sure thing, Cher. Heading your way now. All right, she's right here. Ooh -wee. All right. What are we handling to Guess our business is done here. <laughs> Yo, that's dope. All right, so under objectives, we've got, uh, I think it's under the River Row. These are the ones that we have to do in order to help out Vito, if I'm not mistaken. Because if we go over here to the the kill list we've got michael greco he's 22 years old sal's nephew by marriage the little ship manages the labor rackets and smuggling operations in river row perfect excellent all right we out let's go i can't believe it boys <clears throat> i didn't think it was going to be this early into into the game that we were going to be working with Vito, you know? I thought it was going to take a little bit longer. If anything. But that's dope. There we go. I'm just really happy with how how close the missions are to one another. Just saying. I'm going to see how we get inside here. Damn, this place is a freaking dump. Vito sent me. You're Connie, right? Yup. Connie DeMarco. Been keeping an eye on the smuggling business <clears> for Vito. Roy Thibodeau's in charge now, and it's a damn shit show. Why hasn't Greco bounced him yet? Oh, he bounced Roy right into a hole if he got to say so. Greco didn't pick Roy, and that puts a target on his back. Still, Roy's trying to sell the usual shit from out of Cuba. Cigars and rum, mostly. Hell, rumor has it they even selling medicine and shit to the Cubans. Sounds like Greco scrambling. <laughs> Imagine Greco thought his uncle Sal give him a break, but no. So he's squeezing everyone, including Roy. If business gets any worse, Roy's gonna have to come down and see to it himself. Mind, Roy's got a few guys here and there. Might take some persuading, but I'll get him to talk. 
You get hold of any Roy's guys yet? They're sure to talk if you uh, ask just right. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. How do we access that? Do we got to go inside this warehouse? Let's see. What do we got? Is this going to be enemy territory for sure? Oh, shit. Oh, this man does not know what's coming to get him. He doesn't know I'm about to kill his ass. Hey, guys. Uh, what's going on? I'm here to talk to Jock. Hopefully, uh... None of you guys want a problem? Hey there, Jock. How you doing, buddy? Vito said you'd be expecting me. Took you long enough. I'm Jock Blanchard. Vito claims you can unfug this mess and get us working men back on a job. Maybe. Depends if your information's any good. Used to kick up to Vito's men, Andy Toretto, for union work. But now that Coyon Greco got Andy squeezing everybody for more dues. You don't pay, you don't get a work permit. Poor fucks even gotta use Greco's loudmouth buddies to collect. This Greco sounds like a real piece of shit. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. On top of that, Andy's gotta keep the permits under lock and key. Anything happens to those, oof. Ain't no work happening around here. I'll see what I can get out of Toretto's people. Toretto runs a tight ship, but you should be able to get some of his guys talking. Okay. Bagman Ferry Union dues to a secret safe house. Follow them to loot Turtles cash. Now, remember, we could skip certain, you know, racket missions as long as we do the ones that give us the highest rewards and blah, blah, blah. So I might actually try and go for the harder ones. Um, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Excuse me, fellas. Sorry, but I'm not here to play fucking traffic. I got people to kill. Look at how close this shit is, bro. This is crazy. Sabotage the union trailers. I don't got time for this shit. You know, I don't got time for this bullshit. You understand, right? You guys told me to collect all the money in all the areas because that actually deducts money away from the damage that you got to do. And then therefore you got to do less of the mission. Sentry alerted. He's picking us. She's going back. Cover my ass. This fucking asshole called reinforcement. No shit. Okay. Oh my god. Fuck this. Oh my lord. I think this was probably not the smartest idea to just come in here like a fucking maniac. Oh, he was a freaking sniper, bro. No wonder I was like, what the heck is happening? He was in with a freaking sniper or a marksman, whatever the hell he had. Anyways, like you guys told me, collect your shit. Let me get that. Mm -hmm. Let me collect all this money. Yeah, this is definitely going to make everything easier. Collect all the cash. You going to fucking snitch? Huh? <laughs> Okay, we're here. We have arrived. Now, before we do that, I'm going to call this, this little girl right here and collect my cash because I got $2,912 in my freaking wallet. Here, take this. Your money is always safe better with me. It better be safe. Okay, I'm good to go. All right. Get the hell out of here, okay? we got things to do now. Oh, now you're hiding. Yo, what's popping? What's crack lacking?
Oh, look at all this cash right here. Don't mind if I do. Oh my god, brutality. Yeah, I want to see you try. I like to see you try, punk. <laughs> Make sure there's no cash here. I'm gonna sabotage this, blow it up, and that'll be that. Excellent. Nice. All right. I don't think there's any money there or anything like that. Now we just got to go to the next one. Perfect. Get out the way, dude. Let's get out of here. Let's get the frick out of here. Oh, it's rainy, man. The road is wet right now. I'm not a big fan of this. This game looks so freaking good. <laughs> It looks so good on the computer. It's not even funny. Here we go. So which one does more? Like the sabotaging or the killing? Like the little the skull ones. Like killing the bosses or whatever. What, have you lost your mind? No, but you have. Literally. Because I just cut your ass up. Hey, you. Fuck off. That's fucked. What you say to me, punk? Huh? Where's your, where's your snitch? Who's gonna call the reinforcement? Who's calling reinforcement here today? Boy, if you don't. Witness is calling police. <laughs> you ain't calling nothing, bro. This is a Lincoln Clay operation. All right, so that was 7,000. Perfect. So now we can go to the map and we've got uh, contraband. Bust up the contraband racket. Okay, ooh, damage remaining 20,000. 4,000. Kill Roy's enforcer. Yeah. Let's do that. Well, you guys just want to die like that. Yeah, I just love to die for free, don't you? All right, we're here. Jock Blanchard. Blanchard. Oh, fuck. Yo, you guys are the good guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't call the cops. <laughs> I don't want to leave my little girl. No. work at the dock union. I'm surprised Tavero's not out in the street and hunting you himself. Talk to Okay, continue will cause the remaining racket. Yep, that's totally Boy, fine. Is Andy Toretto's down at the dock union, demanding to know who's been stopping his people from collecting dues. Think he tipped off Greco to what's been happening? Nah. Knowing Andy, he'd probably see Greco in the ground next to you if he could. But he's a lifer, and if he's got a job to do, he's gonna goddamn well do it. Bad fucking situation all around. And it's about to get worse. Tell the boys they'll be back to work soon, Jock. You pissed Toretto off just enough that he's back at the dock union. You're gonna have to deal with him. All right, confront Andy Toretto. <laughs> Why not Dominic Toretto? Well, he was probably not even born by this time, but it's not too far off. Let me take my vehicle back. Look how beautiful this game looks, huh? Looks nice. I know obviously on the computer it's gonna look much better but the fact that it looks like this is it's it's nice it makes the experience much better i do wish that you could take out the rear view mirror it's very useful but it just obstructs too much maybe there is a way to take it out who knows oh it's always there never mind okay he's literally right here okay Wait, 
We were here before. Oh, I like that car, fam. You buying the fucking work permits? What's the point of that? Can we just print up some more? Jesus Christ. Look, that's not how it works. Those little snips. Bro, I need, I need, I need, hold on. Hold on, bro. Can I get a resupply on River Road? Going at you. Hang tight. I need a resupply on River Road, bro. Come here. It's raining like crazy. Right now, the weather sucks. Come here. I need some of the goods, homeboy. Suppressed. Yes. Refill ammo. Yes. I'm also going to need some uh, good old uh, fucking armor. Tack vest. Got to use that shit. Oh shit, that don't so good. Spotted him this way. See me trying to get my head down. Got a man down here. They're gonna have to carry you out. Oh yeah. Sentry alerted. Are you fucking kidding me? Ship bird acquired. Here, hey, punk. Either you kill me or that piss and Greco does. Well, since Greco ain't here, my boy did not close oh, Lincoln Clay. Shit. You monster! <laughs> I don't even give the time for the reinforcement to come over here. Because I'm a gangster. Sign this shit to Vito. Uh, bro, everything's going to Vito. I don't give a crap. The dock union's under control. Put some of you guys on it. You took those fucks out, huh? Good job, pal. I'll send some guys to keep watch. Get the warehouse, and we get Greco. Easy as your mama's fucking pie. Vito's squad is all open here. <laughs> well, today I'm sure the file of Vito's skelet is about three feet thick, but that wasn't always the case. You know, Hoover didn't even acknowledge the mafia existed until 1957, so we weren't really keeping tabs on guys like Vittorio Scaletta till after that. Now we know he served in World War II and did a six-year stint in prison for theft and illegal distribution of federal rations. It's, uh, it's generally believed he was a made member of the Falcone family in Empire Bay, though he's also a suspect in the death of Don Carlo Falcone. Now, if he did kill the Don, Vito must have had friends in high places because he was allowed to live. He was exiled, though, and forced to relocate down here. And the commission convinced Sal Marcano to make Vito a lieutenant and give him some rackets. Ooh, that makes sense. Taking the district. So you've taken down one of this district's rackets. Go off to the other one to draw the lieutenant and take over the district. Conquering and assigning districts to your underbosses unlocks higher level favors and services. All right, guys. Man, this game right now, the rain, everything. It's been raining the entire episode. It looks so freaking good. But now we're off to complete the river row rackets i want to say this is still part of a racket we got to damage the warehouse and we got to do twenty thousand dollars worth of damage this one's actually a little bit less than the last one which was thirty thousand so kind of glad we did the other one first okay Let's see what we got here oh my fault Ooh. Interesting. <laughs> Somebody better be fucking with me. Come here, little buddy, old pal. Wanna play another hand? Oh, hell. What time is it? Time for you to play another hand and let me win my money back. Feeling a little light, fellas. I have to fold after this one. 
Oh, like a Molotov. Oh, I could have used the fucking crane. Find you. You ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> They're all dead. There's a lot of cash here. How? Oh my god. Twelve thousand? Are you kidding me? This is insane. Perfect. Let's see if we can rob some money somewhere in here. Any cash we can take? Nothing. I know you guys told me to, you know, take cash when possible as it makes my life easier. But I don't know if they have anything else here. Yeah, I don't think they do. Okay. Here we are. Do what this guy has to tell us right now. I think this is it. Anybody follow you? Boy, it's rattled. Scared of Greco. Terrified of you. <laughs> Heard he started sleeping at the warehouse. The only place he feels safe. <laughs> Good. Means I have an easier time getting my hands on him. Once he's taken care of, we'll move in. Vito will turn things around. You'll see. That poor fucker Roy is back at the warehouse. Do what you gotta do. In front Roy. And now it also makes sense as to why Vito is here. After he killed Del Falco, he got exiled, pretty much. But since he knew people in high places, he didn't get terminated. So you can't. You, that's against the mafia rules. You can't just kill other bosses like that. I was just here, man. This is kind of risky. Oh fuck. Okay, it's over. It's game over. Oh. oh my god. Y'all boys done fucked up. Oh, it's Lincoln Clay coming for that ass. Oh, call all the reinforcement you want, baby. Fuck me! I rather not kill the mob. Just fucking do what I gotta do. You don't wanna do this? Beta killed your ass anyway. <laughs> and that's it. They're not gonna do anything because we just finished it. Good. So now Vito secures this area, and then we've got perfect. So, mm, add a health bar. Oh, that's nice. Need you guys to secure the smuggling operation at the warehouse. I'll send them over. And Lincoln, just because Greg goes a dipshit doesn't mean he's a pushover. He'll probably send out some of his men, have him try and take you out. So watch your ass. Get your hands on Greco and rough him up all you want, but don't kill him. That's for me. I was in the third platoon company C of the 614 tank destroyer battalion during World War II. I trained as a medic, but I still carried a gun. Every man in our company was black. Army didn't know what to do with us other than they didn't want us fighting with the white men. Glenbach. Klimbach was that little French town up there near the border with Germany, and we were ordered to take it. Now, the Krauts took out three of the four anti-tank guns we had, but there was no way in hell we were letting them get the better of us. We were determined to show we was just as good, if not better, than every other soldier in the service. I, I don't like talking about medals I got over there. 
Only way a man survives something like that is through the grace of God. Doesn't seem right celebrating a little piece of tin. Hmm. No one knows I helped Lincoln except for you and John Donovan. Not that I'm keeping it a secret, mind you. Just that nobody ever came around and asked about it. He's a good dude. Yo, stop driving. I'm fucking driving here. Ooh. Oh, sorry, Vin. Oh, sorry, bro. Uh, what's up? Are we doing something or what's the deal? Greco's in that building at the end of the block. A lot of who is in there. Probably face down a pussy right now. You got any muscle with him? Yeah, a couple of meatheads. I'll go around the front. You take the back. He tries to run, grab his ass. Nobody kills that prick but me. Fuck. Those are Marcano's guys. Oh. God, suck. What? Right back to the car. You drive. I'll cover us. Oh, Fuck come on. Gets away. Oh. Ha! Ha! <laughs> All right, go you fish. Here we go. End up with my car. <laughs> He's a little fuck. That's how. God All right. damn it! Why don't you just let Marcano handle this jackass? Marcano would just kill the little shit stain. I want to take my time. Besides, until I can get at Marcano directly, this is the next best goddamn thing. Boy, take it. Oh fuck! Here we go. Got to pop his tires. Hey, little shit. My car, Vito. Fuck. I ain't making any promises. No way I'm letting that dipshit get away. Over there. He's out of his car. Oh, I'm sorry, partner. He's killing me over here. Here you go, boys. Oh, y'all yeah, under the fire now, huh? Holy shit. Yo, this is wild. Hold on, there's one more right here. I'm from Greco. Oh, he's shooting back. And eh, we'll leave him alone. He's done for. Come here, you little shit. Fuck! <laughs> the fuck are you? So this is different than the, the other one. Here. The cops are closing in. This is completely different than the last the one. Yeah. I thought we were going to have to go to another base and shoot them and kill them, but these missions are definitely unique. You're going to have to shake these corn pone redneck motherfuckers. Oh fuck, I didn't see that. Did we put him in the did we put him in the trunk or something? What, what happened? <laughs> you crossed the wrong motherfucker. That's what happened. Now shut the fuck up. Okay, we're gonna try and lose these cops here. What do you want, huh? You want money? I can get you assholes money. I don't think I have enough bullets. All units, we have reports of a suspect being sighted in the bayou. Oh my god. Vito, I I'm gonna need you to shoot your damn fucking gun. Cops are still on us. Lose them, Lincoln. All units, negative. Vito. Back to your place. Yeah. Pull around to the chub shack in the back. And as for you, have a little dignity. Christ. Help! Somebody fucking help! help! Oh, I'm not gonna lie, those cops were a little Watch bit hard to cops. lose. Don't want to get pulled over with this asshole in the back seat. Right, so now we just gotta drive back to Vito's. Ooh. Calm. Shit. Cool. <laughs> and collective. For a couple of years there, I really thought I might be done with all the Jimmy Cagney <laughs> bullshit. But here I am. Buddy, I kind of figured you for more the Edward G. Robinson type. <laughs> Look at you, kid. You know, God's got a sense of humor, too. It's sick as shit, but that motherfucker's got one. <laughs> Watch it. Jesus. Oh, no. I got to drive well. I don't want people calling the cops on me. This would be literally the oh, worst you want, time. Huh? You want money? I can get you assholes money. All units, search is called off. Repeat, abandon search. Return to patrol. All right, we're here. 
We are here. <laughs> oh, oh, please. No. I didn't do nothing. You didn't do nothing. You were getting ready to fucking kill me. I was just doing what Uncle Sal told me to do. Nah, fuck, never <laughs> like me. I get it. But this? You never tried anything like this before. I don't. I don't. This Come on, Mike. Why do you want me bro? gone all of a sudden? Fuck. He said you were a carpet baby. Never should have been down here in the first place. Ooh. <laughs> you want me to keep going? You got nine more. Fuck! Listen, Jesus, he was worried you knew about the casino. And so we're gonna play up to Leo and the commission. What casino? Answer the question. Uncle Sally's. You, you, you see that construction across the lake? He's building a casino over there. He wants to go legit. Turn this city into Las Vegas. Gambling's illegal. Uh, yeah, no shit, it's illegal. Uh, which is why he's paid a bunch of money to get the laws changed. Who else is involved in this? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, I swear it. <laughs> Look, I, I told you what you wanted to know. Damn. You're gonna let me go now, right? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, sure. Oh! Stupid fucking prick. Oh my god. Clean this mess up. No reason for you to stick around. Vito is still as Remember gangsta deal. as always. Expecting to cut everything you bring in. Hey, I know how this shit works. You'll get your money. There's a woman named Alma. Helps me out sometimes. Cuban. Mean as fuck. She talked to us, see if she needs anything. Might be an easy way to bring in some extra money. Where's she at? At the warehouse. All right. What are you gonna do with him? Fish gotta eat like everyone else. <laughs> oh shit! So it looks like all the like the main bosses they all get Sal killed. Sal Marcano wanted to build a casino north of the city. Pretty early on, Michael Greco told Lincoln about it. And Lincoln Clay's plan was to specifically target various entities related to Marcano's casino plan. Between the bribes he was paying out to get gambling legalized and the money needed to pay off the commission, Sal was stretched pretty thin. So Lincoln used that to his advantage. Forced Sal into making some extremely hard decisions. Decisions that would limit his options. Look at this asshole. I'm telling you, we make twice as much bread moving heroin as we would from a stupid fucking casino. Maybe three times. This ain't about the money. <laughs> You're joking, right? All I ever heard from you is, don't give me that goddamn excuses, you understand? You paid me what's fucking owed. You think this is a game, <laughs> son? And it's my fault for playing along with you. We're not setting you straight. But it's not a game. This shit wears on you, grinds you down. I ain't had a decent night's sleep in 43 years. And then after Lucho, shit. Well, hey, we got the cocksuckers who did that. Every last one of them. Yeah, and your uncle's still dead, ain't he? Yeah. You think sitting in that chair makes you special, huh? Somehow puts you above all the bullshit. Well, it's the opposite. All it does is paint a giant goddamn bullseye on your forehead. There's a price to be paid for all this, you understand? And I'm tired of paying it. Mainly, I'm worried I'm going to get a phone call telling me you're dead in a gutter somewhere. What do you expect me to do, huh? Work the front door? Glad hand folks as they come on in, maybe give them a quick slap on the ass? You run it with me. And here, after a few years, after I know everything's settled down, you'll take over. Find yourself a nice woman. Give me some fucking grandkids. I'm going as fuck. It's the only way, son. The world is changing. Used to be people knew their place. Now everybody's screaming about equality. And now they all deserve a slice of the pie. Niggas, nicks, gooks, you name it. Our way of doing things won't work in a world like that. It's just crazy, dude. Yeah. 
You come to me with something like this, Lou, you better be goddamn sure. Ooh, he's alive. Yeah. Lincoln Clay is still alive. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they don't fucked up. Ooh. They're dumb, man. They scared now. We did a lot of good stuff with Vito. That was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, again, if you want more Mafia through here on the channel, drop it a like. And thanks for being here. I really appreciate you guys. That was, uh, that was great. That was fun.